Hello, my name is Michael Donovan. I signed up for the 50K trail racing over Texas 50K. So kind of had the liberty of deciding where I was going to do this at. And I decided to uh, do it at Elk City State Park along the Elk River Trail um, near Independence, Kansas. So not too far a drive for me, but um, you know, I've always done, uh, I've done a few ultras, but have never taken a camera or a phone along to chronicle the journey. So I've always just had to tell people about what an ultra is like, but I've never had really anything to show them what it's like. So I'm happy to uh, give this a shot today and see how it goes. Hoping to take a, maybe make a little chronicle every five miles or so, but here's kind of a quick map of the trail I'm doing. So this is, uh, let me see if I can get this right. So down here is the uh, the dam. I'm starting right there. I'm going to be going along the whole length of the lake and along the river over to the end of the trailhead. It says that it's 15 miles one way, uh, roughly 11 hours walking time with a rugged difficulty. So I'm going to be doing the whole thing and back today. Um, so 30 miles that won't quite be a 50k, so anything that I still need to do to get to that mark, I'm just going to run along the dam to finish it up. So, should be a good time. So, let's give this a go. There's the lake out there. Just hit the five mile mark, so given my first update here. Um, this trail is uh, really, it's pretty rugged. Um, I did another 50K back in November, the Razorback Running Revival in the Ozarks. And uh, this is reminding me quite a bit of that. Um, overall, I'm feeling pretty good. My left foot, Feels like it's a little bit numb for some reason. 
but um, overall pretty good. These trails really make you dance along them. Um, yeah, so still having fun. Yeah. I nearly just got eaten by some quick mud. Didn't realize it was gonna be that muddy. Sank nearly about halfway up to my shins in mud. But it's part of the fun of it all. Yeah. at the 10 mile mark in just over two hours and 10 minutes. So not doing too bad. I've got a, if I were to hold this pace, I'd finish the thing in probably about six and a half hours, but I'll definitely slow down. So I was uh, on the website where you sign up for these things. It's called ultrasignup.com. You can see other racers results and again for the one in arkansas i did there was a lady that beat me by just a little bit and uh in her results i saw that she had done the flat rock race here before the 50k i said that she did it in about seven and a half hours so I figure that gives me a good number to shoot for maybe even try to beat it I'm doing this uh, self-supported though. It's no aid station, so it means I've gotta carry extra weight with extra water and stuff. I brought a uh, water filtration purifier, so we'll see if I get a chance to use that. I'm sure I will. But um, overall, I'm still feeling pretty good. Still having fun. Um, yeah trucking along. It seems like it's uh, the trail has eased up a little bit. It's not quite as rugged. Not as much intense ups and downs. So we'll see. See if I can beat seven and a half hours. All right, I made it to the 15 mile turnaround. My watch actually says 14.75. I've done it in three hours and 20 minutes. I'm right next to a highway right now. But uh, yeah, feeling good. Um, getting a little more fatigued now. My back's hurting, but it's all part of the fun, choosing to challenge yourself. So get a few, uh, things to eat real quick and I'll turn around and head back so fun times
getting them at the 20 mile mark now. Four hours and 42 minutes. My legs are getting a little cranky. My left quad's been cramping a little bit, but not too bad. I just slow it down a little bit, eat some salt, and uh, seems to relax a little. But, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people probably think, why on earth do something like this? I think there's lots of reasons. I know I've got a lot of reasons, but I know one is, I kind of mentioned it earlier, just the fun of, I guess the value you'd say of uh, purposely challenging yourself. I just think uh, a lot of times we get too comfortable and shy away from challenges, anything that could make us hurt a little bit, make us have to improve ourselves. So, um, yeah, I mean, set a goal and try to do something like this. And most often, um, you're going to not meet your own expectations. So it gives you an opportunity to laugh at yourself and just kind of keep you humble. So any adventure is fun too. So, yeah, so trucking along, um, We'll see if I make that seven and a half hour mark. I don't know, but we'll see. Peace. I am at the 25 mile mark. It's a little slower going now. My quads, both of them now, are really squawking. They weren't really, they were cramping, but not really hurting before, but now they're just getting painful. So, unfortunately that might mean that I'm gonna be walking most of the way back six miles, but um, that often happens. That's okay. If my um, legs do feel better, I might give it a little bit of running here and there shot. I got to uh, try my water filter. That was fun. I got to stop for that for a little bit. And uh, the water, it's clean, but it tastes very natural. So that's quite tasty. But, yep, suffering is part of what makes these things so much fun. So I just try to Offer it all up. There's the lake. Hey, lake. So, the crazy thing about all this is that this is just a 50K. This is 31 miles. They're also 50 mile. 100 Ks, which is 62 miles. You can do 100 mile ultra marathons. You can do, even there's 200 mile ultra marathons. I can't fathom doing anything longer than this right now. I've done a 50 miler before and I don't know how I finished it, but I did. So, yeah. Look at all these dead trees in here. Guessing this must be a spot where when the water is high, it all gets washed up here. There's a good view of the lake. There's more dead wood everywhere. Seven and a half hours, 28.3 miles. Did not make my goal. So, I'll set a new one. I think I'll make it eight hours and 16 minutes. And I do that because that is twice the record for this course. The record is four hours and eight minutes. Some kind of superhuman. And there's the lake again. That is the end of the crazy stuff. 
it's uh, about 29.4. So I've got a little more than a mile and a half to go. And that's seven hours and 56 minutes. So I've got 20 minutes to do about a mile and a half. So let's do this. Just hit the 30 mile mark. I was gonna run along the dam, but there's too much traffic coming down it. So instead I'm going down this lesser traveled county road. Um, done, did a little bit of running there. Quad started to act up, so. Probably won't make my goal. All right, about to cross the 31 mile line. However, 50 kilometers is actually 31.069 miles, so I'm gonna do just a teensy bit more here and then I'll be done. My car's right over here. One one hundred more. And that does it. That is 50k. Eight hours, 20 minutes, and 14 seconds. Feels pretty good. So, hope you all enjoyed it, at least a little bit. So, I'd be happy to share more with you if you want. So, yeah, good use of a Saturday.